It is I, Dr. Gold. I am the savior of this stream. Why are you the savior? Uh, Why are you the savior of the stream? Cause I'm me. That is true. You being used pretty dope, dude. That's dope. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. What's going on, T Cub? You feeling better? Yeah. H H Hacks underscore YT says hi. Uh, hi there. What's up, dude? Like, let me turn on my key. Dude, I didn't know that um, apparently a 3070 Ti or, or really like any NVIDIA video card will only support four monitors. I'm like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> only four? Uh, there you go. Bum, 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 bum. All of What's up, Ran? You do. Ran is here. Ethan says, what's up? What's up, Ethan? Ethan, were you able to buy tier three yet? I think I fixed it. The devs on the points bot screwed up. I, but I, I just manually reset it, so it should be fixed. I would turn. What's up, Tika? I said, are you feeling better, dude? You, you're not feeling good on Friday, dude. I'm feeling better. What's this? Zara's in the hospital now, dog. What? I, I can't keep up with like What's sometimes. I can't keep up with of all the the drama sometimes. <laughs> like I I was I was I was really busy this weekend. I had to help Bombie Boy move houses and stuff, uh, and a lot of other things. And I come back to like people are just going off. I'm just like, excuse me. <laughs> well, I'm actually in the hospital right now, but I I actually really need to beat this stream. I appreciate appreciate the dedication, dude. That's dope. <laughs> HHX says, I'm 42 oh, Hassan in your Discord. That's cool. Why do all you guys have different usernames? <laughs> well, I get well, it. I forgot to tell you. I get it. It's probably like a young part in your life where you're figuring out your identity, but like it's so, so hard to figure out sometimes. What's up, Teacup? What did you figure out? I forgot to tell you. I actually died a few days ago. I mean, I invited you to my funeral, but I, I had to come back to be for the stream. Need to get to the vault first to get that desk. Uh, my coach will be able dude. to use it. Doesn't need a desk, dude. Doctor Gold, can you hear me? No, I can't I hear you. You, ha you have you have to you have to come to the stage. Well, I've invited everyone to speak, but I don't think anyone will accept. Oh, you invited them all to speak. Okay. Yeah, Ramit joined it. Nice. Oh. What's up, Ramit? I need to get back to your message. I've been like slammed with shit this morning. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I spent most of this morning actually applying to grants and like Jesus fucking Christ, I hate bureaucracy. Like I'm like what, you know? I I Best Buy has like this whole little front portal for like how you can apply your nonprofit to like get funding for an event and whatnot. And then they're like, what percentage of your of your audiences are disinvent are like dis disinvent disinvested like teens or something? I'm like I don't know how much their parents make. Like what? Like, I don't think I'm allowed to know that. <laughs> uh, um, and, so, and then they want, like, a fucking, well, like, letter of diversity discrimination things. And I'm like, man, dude, I can't put up with this shit, dude. I'm just like, I'm trying to help people. Cut the fucking bullshit. Hi fire your fucking HR department, please. Like, it's, just, it's, just such, it's such a hindrance. My ex was in HR. She was fucking terrible. Anyways, sorry, I'm going off. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Tika? I actually have a question. Am I going to be the third person to reach a vault? Because Ethan got it. Yes. Yes. You will probably be the third if you get it. You'll be the third. Ethan is number well, I'm two. I'm never going to get it. Right. Congrats, Ethan. I'm going to get taken on my money. Ethan, Ethan will be the second yeah, person but... to get to the vault. What if I never get it? Oh, Skulls, hear me out. You should totally get me, like, a... You should get me, like, desk accessories so I'm getting the desk. I can't just have the desk. 
you <laughs> also a, need the accessories with the desk. A, wow, dude. This is what Boy, I'm talking I don't about. Need a giant y'all, egg. y'all, y'all ask for an inch, and then I give you an inch, and then sometimes y'all ask for a mile. <laughs> Well, I don't need a giant like, desk for a laptop like, and a mouse pad the size of my head. You said you wanted a gaming desk. That's why I put it in the prizes. I mean, it would be good, though. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, let me... Excuse me? Is my keyboard not working now? What's happening here? Oh, okay. Well, that's I'm cool. Type stuff. Yeah, that's kind of weird. One sec. Uh, no? Stop. There we go. Okay. You know what, Gold? You're gonna give me an inch, and I'm gonna ask for a kilometer. Glad we're at least like going to the metric system. Is instant. Oh, we got lots of cool questions here. Teacup. Yeah, Jesus Christ, teacup. What is this dog? Oh, it's the best question ever. Okay. All right. Uh, let me start with the stream. We got seven people in. All right. Welcome everyone, Office Hours. My name is Dr. Golis, Actual Education. Streaming to help you out with math, homework, science, homework, all sorts of fun stuff. Also here in the stream, we got Ramit. That's dope. Very cool guy. W Ramit. He's, uh, w Ramit. He's from Ramit. You want you want to introduce it's yourself to the stream? Say, say say hi to people. Like this, a couple people have asked me, like, wait, who is this guy? And I was like, yeah, I do need to make an announcement yeah. in the Discord, but announce it's yourself to the stream. You. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm a graduate in mathematical physics. A lot of people are asking, what is and... mathematical physics? You want to maybe tell people what mathematical physics is? Yeah, so it was kind of, it's kind of like a double degree. Like, uh-huh. I did take pretty much, like, equal parts math and physics courses. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, I took, I took a bunch of electives, too, so that's why. But I, I did take a lot of courses when I was, like, I took 21, 22 courses in math and Oh, physics. wow. So, yeah, like, it was, uh, but essentially for when you're taking a lot of physics courses where I went to uni, um, mm-hmm. there are sometimes equivalent courses that focuses a little bit more on the, like, the mathematical abstraction part of physics. So, like, Instead of quantum, for example, I took both of them for some of them, but like there's a quantum theory course which talks a lot about like you know Bonnock spaces, Hilbert spaces, and like Hilbert spaces. Oh man, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when we start getting into like some some crazy stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we do talk about a little bit of math, uh, like math jibber jabber. Jibber jabber. Uh, I like you know, that. That's a good word. Math. Jibber jabber. Yeah. And then. Um, for like a lot of my math courses also um for physics students had people who are like in physics physics and astronomy or like life sciences they would take like a different course but then i was taking my math courses with like pure math students so like which dude that is hard that's very hard to deal with because like the curve on like the pure math kids is like nuts probably yeah like i was there was like a few courses that I was getting ragdolled, but like now ragdolled. I'm like really good at it. But when <laughs> I was taking it, it was it was hard. Like uh, I think complex analysis was like one of my hard, harder courses. Yeah, and I took complex. Was. Complex was I think you know some people ask me like what's the highest math that I've taken, and I think complex analysis was my highest. Yeah, that one is difficult. But yeah, like then I ended up using complex analysis a lot, mm-hmm. but. You know, I took like, it's like the same thing, actually, like linear algebra was actually one of my courses that I really struggled, but Uh it was also the very first course that I took that was like based, like really math. And then after that, I pretty much took every other math course. I used linear algebra. So then by the time I was like graduating, I was like, linear algebra was like my favorite course. <laughs> noise, noise, also. baby says vectors. He's like, vectors. <laughs> yeah. Very Wait true. until you see like the operators that don't even have, like, you're just talking abstract dimensions. Yeah. It man. just gets. It gets, yeah, it gets so... out there, dude. Yeah. Like, I remember the first time they were like, oh, we're going to talk about infinite dimensional spaces. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, uh oh. Like, yeah, like, uh, anyways, so that that's my background, and then uh-huh. I wanted to kind of do something similar, and 
I one day just out of dumb luck, I was like looking through Twitch just to see if anybody else like doing something. Were you just looking in like the education, then, like the education science section? Is that the section you were looking in? Yeah, I was looking in science and technology, and then um, I looked at like other sections, like just chatting and stuff. But I yeah. figured that no one's gonna go there because you're just no, gonna get just, dumped at the very bottom of. Yeah, and also, just yeah. chatting is always just like girls in hot tubs and stuff. I'm just like, I can't compete. <laughs> Can't compete. I'm sorry, math isn't that yeah, sexy. But uh, but yeah, it was. <laughs> but yeah, it was. Uh, it was nice to find your stream, cool. and then I was like, oh, maybe. At first, I was thinking like you know, I, you saw I like reached mm -hmm. out. And I was like, let me get some tips. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, oh, maybe if you're like looking to add like someone else to your like whole crew, then yeah, why why I reinvent the wheel? Right, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I've already spent like two years inventing this wheel, and it's taken a while. You don't want to spend another two years doing it. <laughs> I spent like a year making sure the wheel doesn't evolve any further. <laughs> what? Are you holding us back, Teacup, dude? What are you doing? Yes. Uh, here we go. What was it? Well, no, uh, I gave you stages. Noise, noise. Well, I gave you stages two weeks early. You did. Is it vector spaces which are denoted by real symbol? Cubed or a three-dimensional vector space. I just oh, he's talking about like R three. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, that's R three. That's just a three-dimensional space that each dimension has. Like uh, each dimension can have elements that are live in the real space. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might see C cubed as well. That's mm -hmm. complex numbers. But uh, uh, yeah, infinity would just be um, things you might see quantum. Because, like, position is a continuous thing, mm -hmm. but it's still denoted by, like, a vector. So sometimes if you're talking about, like, the position vector in quantum, because it's a continuous thing, it's a, inf it lives pretty much in the infinite dimensional spaces. So, yeah, like, that's how... That's that what I call, like, all, like, the fun, like, little, little math, like, hieroglyphs, honestly. Like, a lot, a lot of students, you know... Yeah. Even when they have to write like domain and range, right? And they're like all real numbers, and you have to put the whole contained thing on it and everything. That's uh, that that's yeah. It's it's deciphering all like the the math knowledge. Oh, so what's a Hilbert space? Yeah. Noise, noise, asking some good questions, which I think yes. So we're we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this on Thursday. I have it in my calendar. We're gonna do uh uh like a little like AMA cool little intro podcast thing. And I think this. I think, uh, Ramit, you're talking about like what topics we should do. I think we should kind of just do like an open, open format for the first thing with with just basically yeah. like any like advanced math stuff that like you've been going through, you know, and kind of help out. Yeah, noise noise says that'd be cool. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Yeah, I will. I'll announce yeah. that. I'll announce yeah, that formally later tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, got a lot on my plate right now. I'm trying to like balance everything yeah, um but good. yes we'll do that we'll do that on I'll thursday i've put it in uh, my calendar because like dude the problem is that like this is finals week for uh ucla kids or these last two weeks i've been the finals are like two weeks long and like every single kid is like oh shit i didn't learn anything in my class and i have an exam this week nigga. who am i gonna hit up <laughs> it's me really... is, is, is this supposed to be like what when is this? What is this exams for? Like, what are when are the classes started? Good, yeah. So UCLA works on. Uh, so you, you probably were on semester sy system, Ramit, right? You were on semesters. Yeah, we. I had like three terms, which was like, uh, what's it called? Uh, which was like fall, which was September mm -hmm. to December, mm -hmm. and then it was January to end of April, like beginning of May. Okay. And the next one was like mid May to end of August. Oh, so wait, you, like, never have summer break? Or, well, or sorry, I'm, summer summer break was, was the May to August one. The, well, no, there, there are classes taking place. Um, I did take one or two semesters off, but other than that, I was either working or, like, in school. Like, I remember I was, I was seven semesters in school, which was, like, two years and four months, like, in school, just in a row, like, no breaks. Like uh, pretty much two week break between the two things. Yeah, if you just want to like was, keep hitting it. Was, it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so. So UCLA is on a quarter system, which is kind of similar. So they go. Um, I want to say September to December is the winter quarter, and then it's like January to April is the spring quarter, 
then April to June is what they call the no sorry sorry fall quarter is is September to December and then January to April is is the winter quarters where they call it the winter because like it's like March and I'm like wait this is still the winter it's never the winter in LA the weather's always perfect anyways and then the spring (laughs) is after spring break and that's like uh april to june and then they have like some summer sessions you can do like july through august which are like super accelerated courses um oh makes sense. yeah so spring break is i think this week or next week for a lot of like the the high schools in in los angeles as well as ucla and so if they're on the quarter system they all hit them with like final exams like right before spring. yeah okay that makes sense that's why it works. Noise Noise says, I notice a lot of your a lot of people argue in your server. Yes, they do. Yeah, it's because they're all teenagers. <laughs> like, I already know how this works. Like, everyone gets upset by everything. And I'm just like, okay, go for it. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'd rather them, like, argue it out and do it here on Discord rather than go find a gun and shoot up a school. So, like, totally cool with them arguing. You know, as long as people, like, keep it more or less civil, um, it's it's a natural part of life. Yeah, it's okay. People got to, like, figure things out. And, like, I, I understand at the teenage year, like, you have a bunch of, like, hormones and things going through. And everything's, like, weird and strange. You don't know what's going on. So, like, you're just going to fight with everyone. But we try to – everyone comes back together and they're eventually friends again. Ignore the little side arguments. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember I was, like, fighting with my uh, friends in high school over, like, Fucking games. Ooh, yeah, and trash everything. Talk each other and then yes, yeah. Go too far at some point. Uh huh. Yeah, and, and that's and that's kind of like what I try to do. Uh, Noise Noise says I got kicked out of school for knocking someone out. He had it coming though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I'm cool with them. Like you know, fighting online, physical violence. Let's not do that. You know, like it's it's all right. You know, it, you know. Some people would argue like back in the day that was the proper way to like sort things out. Was like all right, be a man. Now these days, everyone just like hides behind a keyboard and like yells at each other. But. Oh man, dude, that's too funny. Yeah, it's okay. I I I will say one thing. I I want my mods to not argue with people in publicly because, um, yeah, that's that's kind of one of my requirements for like being a mod is that like you have the maturity and responsibility that if students start arguing with you and whatnot that you don't keep arguing. You know, I'm trying to teach people to like kind of take the higher road on things and just be like, you know, don't don't get stuck in the muck of like of of like name calling and and whatnot like just if someone's like being mean like that they're probably going through some shit at home or something and just just let them let them just vent a little bit and then you know but don't try to antagonize them i'm gonna argue with yeah. you yeah 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 someone on my stream earlier was like oh so you're half social worker and i'm like yeah pretty much yeah i mean i i teach but a lot of it is social work um that's that's that <laughs> All right, let's 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 start off with some some math questions. We got some math questions coming up here. Um, all right. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, teacup, can you? What the fuck is this question, dog? Excuse me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I first of all, I don't even know what the I don't even know what a kernel is. So like, you know, that's that's something we can go into. Ramit, do you know like do you know like a, a simpler form of this question? Like, uh, well, like, I mean, I can, we can, we can try to cheat through doing this. So like we, you can do well, this easily yeah, with a computer and then no, we'll no, no, I don't, like I, how I don't, the computer does it. Yeah, we'll maybe. Well, but, okay. So, so for instance, like, so teacup uses like Wolfram Alpha and he just does like random problem ge- generator. And sometimes it'll give me like a three by three with, with, with just like ugly fractions. And it's like determine like what the the determinant is of this and i'm just like okay i i you know i make a simpler three by three and then i show them this is how like we actually um you know would figure out the determinant but like is there is there is there like i first of all i don't know what a kernel is of a matrix is there like a simpler like two by two or three by three that can be done by hand to show what the kernel is teach me what kernel is yeah Yeah, i mean sometimes the numbers don't come out to be that nice Mm -hmm. but so Okay, so I'll, I'll ex. I, I guess I qualitated the guy right on the board. Yeah, yeah, you can I write. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You're, you're so, qualitatively speaking, when you want to talk about the kernel, 
of any matrix, it's essentially like this. You have a matrix and you say, what are the vectors that I can multiply to this matrix? And I just get this zero vector. So, okay? uh... And then all of these vectors, which are X such that live in the, um, it's like an element of the vector space that you have. And then it's satisfy, you know, this being your matrix, let's say A, right? So A times that X, whatever that vector may be, is equals to zero. This is the definition of kernel. Mm, okay. This is it. <laughs> right. Okay. So then the, or in other words, how you can also talk about it like a simpler way is that everyone, uh, I don't know if you guys know about the Gaussian or Jordan Gauss reduction. I don't think they called? do. Noise Noise says, is this kind of kind of like an eigen 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 uh, Noise Noise says, is this kind of like an eigenvector? And I'm like, it, it kind of is, right? The eigenvector oh, yeah, is... let's do that too. Well, yeah, that's a yeah, whole Yeah, eigenvector, lesson. you want it to be a multiple of... So this would be considered an eigen, right? You want to find a multiple of yeah. the original vector. So this is considered like a eigenvalue, eigenvector problem. So then you call the x the eigenvector, mm -hmm. and then lambda would be your eigenvalue. But then for this one, you want to find the specific x that it gives you like zero. So if I multiply this by something, you get the you get zero 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 zero. Right. So then yeah. the easiest way of finding this is that they call this the reduced echelon form. Oh. Reduced echelon. The REF. Form. REF on the calculator. Yeah, REF, or sometimes they have it. Uh, With the, what would you echelon form? Uh, Wait, did he say REF? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said REF. Form. So REF is row reduced echelon form. That's yeah. different. That's for solving like systems of equations. Yeah. Yeah. So then. Reduced echelon, uh, I think it's a row echelon form and reduced row echelon form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, sure. what it tells you is that every you write it like this it's going to be like one, zero, 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 and zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Yeah, that's the one way it goes in diagonal. You have, you have leading ones, right? I mean, these ones could actually end up not being zero. Let's say this could be like two, this could be like one, and this is still considered a reduced row echelon form. But what it says is that you have leading one. Hmm. Leading ones. And then at some point, if you don't have any leading ones anymore, <laughs> so these are the ones that you have. Uh, these are the, the, the linearly ones. independent equations, right? When you don't have a leading one, it's, it's yeah. a linearly dependent uh, equation. Like there's like infinite solutions for it. it that, yeah, that, so. that's, that would be correct. Exactly. That's so cool. then each column starts with a one and then obviously if you have more columns than rows you might end up having two columns that are left that they mm -hmm. can't they are either going to be zero or they're going to be um uh, you know some other number but they're not going to be the leading one in right so then yeah. when you have the leading ones in here that's going to become the rank so the number of leading ones Mm. Number of leading so the rank in this one would be ones, yeah, is equals to your rank, and then the remaining columns that you have left, or whatever is going to be the uh, leftover stuff, that's considered the kernel of so kernel Wait, so of a. Would be whatever is non-leading, kind of. And I'll I'll get to like how we can non-leading one, right? And then there is this thing called the rank nullity theorem as well. Rank. Yo, I asked about that one too, and Gold refused to teach me. Yeah, because I just so don't know it. Theory? This this stuff is like again, this stuff is like above like my pay grade in terms of what I usually teach because nobody in high school goes through. I'll pay you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this now just to prove you on. Uh, okay. Go on, Raymond. Yeah. So this, so yeah, rank nullity theorem. So it's the rank. These are your leading ones. Leading ones. 
this is your kernel, which is like the remaining ones, or the other way is that all of the vectors that satisfy this, and sorry, this is the dimension of the rank, and then this is the dimension of the kernel. This gives you n, and n is just the number of, this is the number of columns. Wait, so it would be the dimension of rank plus the dimension of kernel gives you the nullity? Yeah, so dimension just means how many vectors you have that will satisfy, uh, that will be, the uh, rank is the number of leading ones, and then kernel would be how many vectors you have that satisfy this equation, and then the total of those have to add up to the number of your columns. Right. So in here, you have four columns, right? Yeah. So there will be so, four leading ones. So yeah, it's gonna be they have to add up to four, right? So you can actually use like a calculator. You can find the reduced row echelon form, like in a calculator, which is essentially just follows a process that. All it does, it just does three different sort of operations on uh, three different sort of operations on your matrices. Yeah, right? it's a process. Of, which are do we have like do we have like an example one we could go through? Like so, you can show how it would work by hand, oh. and I can show how it would work on the calculator. Wait, so I have a quick, I have two quick questions. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, go for it. So, is there only allowed to be one leading one in each row? Yeah. Okay. My second question is, how are you so good at writing on a computer? Because yeah, like, he has, well, a, he has a tablet, bro. He has a tablet, dog. <laughs> I have a tablet, and I can't wait. It's good. Well, y'all kids just learned how to type on TikTok. Like, none of you guys actually handwrite anything. That's why. What's TikTok? Ba back know, back in my day, we still had to learn cursive. <laughs> I learned cursive. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, uh, Ramit, do we have, like, do, can you think of, or do you, you, what I also usually do is I just, I'm like, sometimes Google a problem to get some nice numbers and just be, like, screw it. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to try to do that. Let's see yeah, if, let's do it. if, like. Because Noise Noise is, so, is, is wondering, like, how you can do this on a calculator. I'm like, I know how to do this on a TI-84. I can show him, but I'd also like to show, like, uh, how you do it by hand. Yeah, so let, let me see if I can find. Is there so we have more column in this problem? We have more columns, or no, we have less columns than rows. So let's see if I can. It doesn't have to be something super complicated, make it like a three by three or something if it's easy. Like, don't don't feel like you have to do yeah. like a four you know, by six or whatever. Dude. I can just make up numbers, honestly. Well, do a five as long as it's as long as it's linearly independent, right? Yeah, it has to. 500 yeah. by 7,000, please. Oh, stop. Let me see. <laughs> so here, like, 1, 3, negative 1, 4. Okay. Uh, or actually, wait, wait, wait. We want to have uh, more columns than rows, or is there... You want to have more columns than rows. You don't want to have more columns than rows, I'm just right? going to do, like, two columns and three rows. Like That's that. fine. Just Let's do it, do it easy. Do it easy. Do it. Make, it, make it easy. Yeah. So let's go like one, three, two, negative one. I'm real quick. Four, I'm it up. Are you good if I go AFK real quick? Yeah, you're good. Go for it. Two, one. negative one, negative three. Something okay. like that. Okay. Okay. So then if you want to find the reduced row echelon form of this, you want to get a leading one in one of these, right? Mm -hmm. So first thing is, let's just get a one in one row, right? Typically you want it to be first row. We already have a one, so that's nice. Okay, now what we're gonna do is that we're going to subtract some multiple of this first row from every other row or add some multiple of it so that we can get all of the other rows to start with a Z. So then R2, if we subtract two times the R1. This is going to make the leading one zero. R3, if we subtract four times the R1, 
and then R4 will add one R1. Mm -hmm. And then we get to a new matrix, which we call these matrices like equivalent. So this is one, three. This one, we subtracted two of that, so it's going to be zero. And then minus one times minus two times negative three, so that's minus mm -hmm. seven. Mm -hmm. And then we get um, four, uh, minus four, so zero, two minus four times three, so that's minus 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this one's gonna add so zero zero. Nice. Okay. okay. And what you do is like okay, now we already have all of the ones. Okay, let's now get a another leading one in a different row. Now what you do is that, or sorry, in a different column. So we already took care of this column. We'll move on to this column now, and then. Obviously, because we want the leading one to be in the second column, in second row, then we'll just take this R2 and we divide it by negative 7. Oh, I see. Yeah you, can... gives you... yeah, you can just divide yeah, anything by anything. Yeah. yeah, and then it would be 0, negative 10, 0, 0. And then now you want your second column to start with a one in the second row. So what do we do? Now we're going to take R2, uh, or sorry, R1, and we subtract three times R2. And then you take R3 and you add 10 times R1 or R2. And then this gives you your new thing. And then that, the thing is like other columns and stuff could get messed up. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because uh, you're just only working on starting your second column with a one in the second row. So since there, the first column has already been taken care of, that the first one is one and everything else is zero, it's not going to mess up the first column again. It might mess up the other columns, but it doesn't matter because we're kind of moving left to right. So then you get one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Right, and then you can see that the rank of this is going to be two. The column, or sorry, the number of kernel. columns in here. Yeah, number of columns is two. So oh, so now you know the the kernel is zero then. So the dimensions of kernel of a is zero, which means that there's no vector you can multiply to this that gives you zero 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 zero. zero. So that's how the the thing works. But then if you were to, uh, uh, I'm trying to see if there is like maybe another. Is this the equivalent of an identity matrix? I'm sorry? Is it like an identity matrix? Uh, kind of, like yeah. But the identity so. matrix is, um, well, if you find an identity matrix, it means that, uh, you know, you're, your um, matrix can be reduced to identity, which is nice because it means you're going to have like a unique solution. But then that means that there is a solution to like that system of equations that you might have. But then if you don't have uh, an identity, because a lot of the times you're going to have, you know, maybe the depending on what's the dimensions of your or of your matrix, like if it's n by n or if it's you know like let's say three by three right if it's three by three then you can get it reduced to identity but if it's three by four then identity is not possible right because identity always needs to be like symmetric right so then you kind of want to get like a similar version i guess in essence to be to like a identity right but identity is the very nice case where everything across your you know, across your diagonal is going to be one. Okay. Okay. So, what, yeah, for this question, what you can do for this one right here, uh, what you want to do is 
put it into like you can always put it into a calculator. You're not gonna calculate these numbers by <laughs> yeah. Right? The, 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 this sucks. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> yeah. So you get it into a calculator, and then maybe um maybe I can put it into a calculator, and then we would like move on to other questions, and then. You yeah, know, like, I can. Oh, I, this I, is I, it's reduced. Exactly. Yeah. So I can. I can show this here. So when we have the the TID four, um, you can you can you can you can create matrices, which is super cool. Uh, by just going oh, here, yes. edit. What is it? Is this a four by? F what is it? Four by five. Five uh, by four. Five by four. That's what it is. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can just take this matrix. It's five by four. You can start putting in the numbers in. So that's, that's minus two hundred two, one ninety six, thirteen, three ninety seven. 326 minus 329 157 minus 440 oh data entry you know when i yeah, was i was in uh yeah when i was in middle school they had us take like one of those like career tests you know where they're like what are you good for and some it, it was like you know how many how many zeros can you write you know in this amount of time or something and like you know you should be a surgeon or you should be a plumber the test when I took it, they told me I should be in actuarial sciences, aka I should be a, like a CPA. I'm like, no, what? I don't want to do that. Statistician. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So once we have our, yeah. our five by now four here, can... we can do the math on it, right? Yeah. So we can yeah. just find the. We're just finding the. Uh, the reduced roach. Yeah. So B would be R E F. Oh, R R E F. Okay, that's what we're gonna. Do. Yeah, uh, uh, REF and REF. Uh, REF just doesn't have to start with a one. I okay. think that's that's the difference. Okay. Uh, so so then... Valid dimensions. What does that? Excuse me. I think you want REF. Did I break it? Calculated. Oh, maybe maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. Or maybe just REF as well. If I think that's REF. No, it doesn't like it, dude. I broke Wait. his calculator. Did I do this right? I'm pretty sure I did. Negative 202, 196, 13, 397. Doesn't like the dimensions of it. Why does it not like the dimensions? That's. Yeah, <laughs> that's. that's what, so we sh you should always. Uh, because you have this, you're going to end up with one row being completely zero. So Correct. The last one we know is going to be all zeros. Uh, but then the rest of it, you could end up with like. You know, like one, 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 but you could also end up with like, you know, one, 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 and then zero, zero, and then this could be like one, two, three, or something, and then you have like a free variable. I forget right. why this why this doesn't work. Huh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> noise, noise, but yeah, once you have that, you just count count the number of leading ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what well, is it? Not doesn't like it for some. Reason. No, doesn't like it. I thought when you do R R E F and whatnot, you have to have like, for instance, if it's if it's a three by three, if you have to have like one, two, three here, and then you have to have um, uh, like values like this. It has to be. You have to have uh more more columns than rows. You like, watch what happens. I think. I think probably. What if if I like delete one of these columns, it'll probably work. I think you could always delete the last one. Right. The last row, and then that should work. Yeah. But. Well, I think I need to delete two of them. I need. I think I need this. Okay. Three by four. Because now, now if I do this, 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 this will like. There you go. See? What is it? Uh, yeah. So that Jesus Christ, these numbers. Yeah, these numbers are so bad, dude. Yeah. Wait, so it has only three rows now. I yeah, I deleted two of them. Yeah. Oh, it's two of that. Oh, okay. So yeah, let's just. Assume I think that I think that you was... need I think you need one more column than you have rows in order to do RREF. It could be. Yeah. I think maybe just for the I'm, calculator. I think either way it should work. Yeah, I can. Try to, there's a calculator that I always use. I'm trying to find it. And it's like, oh, I always yeah. use it online. But yeah, I mean, we don't have to get too hung up on this for now. I can like try to find that calculator. And then, 
Yeah, try look at the calculator, and, and then and then we can yeah we can we can circle back and see if we got it. That's cool. Yeah. This pen was very helpful. Okay, I approve. I give nice, it. Dude. Ram, it was very yeah, helpful. That's pretty much that. That's it, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, see, that's I would give my ten call. out of ten, but his name's not Surgeon Silver. Uh, he's not Surgeon Silver. Oh, he has to come up with a name for himself. <laughs> Sorry, it'll 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 come. It'll come. All right, nice. Good job, Teacup. You get a bomb coin. Good job. All right. Uh, Equity, we'll, what's we'll going we'll on, dude? Death, so I'll, I'll oh, look at I'm, I'm still like, uh, need help on the. Let me help you out, dude. I got you, bro. Uh, we were going over some advanced. Hopefully, that was clear right away. Like, yes, that, uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and again, it's okay if it's not clear to like some of the the the, the younger kids because it's like it's it, that's advanced topics. I think Noise Noise probably got something out of it though. Teacup seemed to too. Teacup's very intelligent. Like Teacup, 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 like is one of these students where he like he's bored in his class because like they're teaching him stuff that he already knows. So like he asks me all these like super advanced questions. So I'm glad someone more advanced than me could explain the the linear algebra stuff. I don't really know much. Of it. Yeah, it's good to be curious. Yeah, for sure. We and we yeah we foster curiosity. It's good. Good to be good to be curious. This this Discord is is for like all sorts of people. It's for people who like hate math and science you know <laughs> and then like we're trying to make it so that it's like tolerable and like you can see why it's cool and then for the people who love math and science but like aren't getting you know the the proper amount of support in no what's good i have a, i have a despising hate with math and science i know I, I know you don't okay all right equity here we go this is a ge geometry proof given aeb is congruent to aed okay so aeb is this angle okay it's incongruent to A, E, D. Oh, these are equal to each other? Oh, that's fun. Okay. Um, prove that A, C is perpendicular to B, D. Okay. Uh, A, E equals A, E. Okay. Are we going to do, like, side angle side here or something? Like, what? I, I, I would also just say that, like, wait, A, E, B and A, E, D follow... Uh, like this is a linear pair, right? So if they're equal to each other, right, and and they're a linear pair, then they they, they both they they have to equal ninety degrees, right? So the, and because of vertical angles, this also has to equal ninety degrees. So then all these things are ninety degrees. So then these lines are perpendicular. But okay, they they come with this. I, I wonder if they're trying to do um. What are we trying to do here? Like, is this like CPCTC or something? Your segment. Huh. All right. Yeah, I, I got that vector also, but we'll. Is chess forbidden in office hours? No, you can play chess in the chess club uh, chats. I'm I'm with a stu I'm playing a student in chess right now. Noise, noise, but I can challenge you on the next one. Yeah, they they are all ninety. Noise, noise. You're right. These these angles are all ninety. I'm just curious how like in geometry they want us to do it in like one more line here. <laughs> like, I need like two more lines. No, uh, it's it's not one more line. There's it it, it just comes like that. So, oh like, you, oh you like, like I can write as many line. lines as I can write as many lines as I want after this. Yeah yeah. Do you have to use this one? Uh. The, the the first two those are right if you get it right it'll like make you go on to the next one oh. and after and then it'll make you submit it at the end oh i see so, so they're just, like they're like holding your hand with the geometry proof and you're like having to like guess like the, the progression which mm -hmm. you know i'm kind of like eh because like in geometry like yeah you know when you want to prove something there are a couple ways you can prove it you know but they're like forcing you to like do like one method of doing it um okay because a, like, I would have never just done this. This would not have been my second step in the geometry proof. <laughs> like, AE is, is proportional to AE. Like, okay, cool. Uh, wh what I see that they're trying to do there is you have a side and an angle. Um, probably going to prove, like, that this triangle is equal to this. That they're perpendicular. Uh, what are your options here? equity for this what are your options for type of statement or can you just uh, type anything yeah show me show me what the options are i'm curious 
curious. Yeah. I if I had to do this, if I had to, if I had to do this, I would I would be like after this one, I would be like uh D E is is supplementary. Uh or not a B E, sorry. Um I always said angle A E B plus angle A E D equals 180 degrees, and then that's just by uh what what do they call this again? Collinear? Vertical? No, what's that? someone told me this last time? Like two angles on the same line. AEB equals AED equals ninety. Collinear, yeah. It, it, this is collinear, right? Yeah, they're collinear. That's what I thought it was. Collinear. Uh, and then, yeah, this is just like the subtraction property. <laughs> um, and then once you know that, you know that BEC equals AED equals 90, and that's by vertical angles. And so all these angles are 90. So then BD has to be perpendicular to AC. But what are your options, equity? What do, what do, they, what do they have? Uh, I put it in the chat. Cool. All right. These are our options <laughs> that they want us to do. All right. Oh, I see. Oh, this is. Oh, this is interesting. You get like this, like this, this family of like things, and they 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 only let you move forward if you choose the right one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ah. Bye. Man, so wait, did you just guess and check? Think, yeah, Ramit, what do you think on this also, one? I think that um, there needs to be an assumption that says A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Otherwise, it's impossible to prove this. A, B, oh, to assume it's that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram? Yeah, because like without that, like you can always have two triangles that are side by side, mm -hmm. like a 90 degree angle. But then their their other um, their other two sides isn't equal, so there's like either me. I feel like it's a missing piece of information, or like an assumption that can be made. You mean, for instance, if I feel like I extended this and extended this, basically, then this this thing would still hold. No, it wouldn't, right? Because then this line would move. Yeah. No, it's something like this. Like, let uh, if I have so here's the. So far, the assumption that we have, right, without the rest of the problem, is that these two things are 90. Correct, yes. Right, and this side obviously is shared. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. If I have this, and I just extend this. Oh, I see. There you go. The same thing still holds, right? Yes. So. But these lines are still perpendicular, though, right? It can be done this way. Uh-huh. Right? It can be like a tight looking thing. Sure, sure, sure. So sure. there's like more than one way, I guess. To, it's either too trivial or not enough information. Well, I, 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 but but again, at the end of the day, we're we're trying to prove, right, whether this is perpendicular to this, and that still holds, even if it's not a, even if it's not a parallel, right? That's true. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that that's not necessary it's not necessary yeah I don't, so so no but that helps me because then i'm not trying to prove that these that these triangles are are uh congruent because yeah, that's obviously I not think... not true here um that's kind of a cool thing you can kind of see that like oh like there's no point to me proving that these triangles are congruent because they could also not be congruent and i'd still have the same thing uh take effect um I don't know why the hell oh, we I care that A maybe, equals AE. Do, do you think? I think it's I think this. A, I think. Yeah. What's up? I think maybe it may be more helpful if we proved this one. Uh huh. This one are congruent. That would give us more information. Okay. If, if it's possible. 
Yeah, but then what is, what, is, what is the, but when we say the reflexive property here, right, that usually means we're trying to do something with these two triangles, yeah. right? That's my problem with this question is that like, they're like this step here to me seems wrong. Like, I don't know, I don't know wh why you have to prove that AE is reflexive uh, unless you're trying to do something with these two triangles. Hmm. Are you sure, Equity? Do you have to put this one? Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably not. Oh, probably not? Okay, well then, yeah, fuck that. Don't do it. I, I, I just put it because it makes <laughs> sense. What is it? What do you mean it makes sense? Explain to me how it makes sense. I want to know. Uh, I thought we just like, uh, you know how we, you have to find if it's congruent? Yes. And since A, A, E, and A, E are congruent, so I just put it. Sure. Yeah, so, so let me show you, like, the big picture, though, here, right? It, if you're proving AE is congruent to AE equity, usually that's used because you want to prove that a side that's being shared by two triangles is the same because then eventually what you're trying to do is you're trying to prove that, for instance, this triangle is equal to this triangle, okay? That's why you would use the reflexive property. It's, it's usually to show that a side being shared by two shapes is so that you can prove that the two shapes are the same, okay? Now, what, what Ramit brought up was that let's assume this isn't a parallelogram. Like, let's assume it looks something like this, which is a kite, okay? A kite is another case where you have the diagonals being perpendicular to each other. But let's look at this triangle versus this triangle. Are they the same? No. No, right? So proving AE is reflexive, right? AE is, is the same for both triangles doesn't do doesn't do me any good like that's that's going towards like a dead end that like it's it's not going to do anything um i think the better thing to do here right aeb is equal to aed um is to say that aeb and aed are right angles uh can you choose this one you see this for, for like can you can you like go back like erase choice number two and can you can you choose this one uh, or yeah. even this one. Or I, actually, let, let's maybe start with this one. I, I would do this. So I would say angle AEB and angle AED are supplementary. That's what I would start with, like, choice two. Let me know if it allows uh, you to do that. Yeah, it gave me the, it gave me the answer because, like, I got, it, uh, I got it wrong before. Should I just okay. show the answer? What yeah, show it? me the answer. Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> now I'm curious, like, what how are they doing this? Okay, see, yeah, this is this is what I wanted to do. Okay, yeah, see, there you go. See, <laughs> remember what I said? I wanted to say they were supplementary. Yeah, this is this is the correct second choice. Yeah, yeah, equity. This is this is bad. We don't want, we don't want to do this, right? Reflexive. No, no. Yes. Okay. All right, but yeah, so this, this was originally what I was saying, um, but let's understand why, because equity, it's, it's one thing to just get the right answer, that's cool, but it's another, it's another thing to understand why the answer is correct, um, because, you know, you can do whatever cheating and just get whatever the right answers are, but, like, if you don't understand how you got there, when you get to a test and the question's, the question's slightly different, you can't just, like, copy-paste, like, what you remember the right answer being, because it won't be right. Um... Yeah. Okay, so this was given, right? And then here we go. Oh, 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 noise, noise. It's called a linear pair. It's not collinear. It's linear pair, right? Yeah. Remember how I said I was saying that we should say that these two are supplementary? This one and this one, okay? Um, the reason for that is then I'm, I'm, I'm just going to call this angle one and angle two. If angle one is equal to angle two, and I know that angle one plus angle two is equal to 180 degrees, right? because it, they're supplementary, because they, they're, they're two angles on the same line. What does that tell me about angle one and angle two? Uh, they're, they're, they're a linear pair. Yeah, they're a linear pair. But what about the number, right? I know angle one is equal to angle two, right? And I know What's angle one... Degrees? Good, yes. That's, that's, that's the key part here, okay? This, this, this statement here, right, that they're supplementary tells me the next statement, right, which is that angle 1, AEB, is a right angle because it's equal to 90, okay?
Okay. Does that make sense, how we got that? Yeah. Right? You could have done this as well. I could have just, like, substituted this in, right? Angle 1 plus angle 1 equals 180, right? That's 2 times angle 1 equals 180. Angle 1 equals 90. Okay? And then, mm -hmm. now you get to the last definition, right? Which is, if you have two lines that intersect, and the angle between the lines is 90 degrees, then the lines have to be perpendicular. Right? Cool. You see that? That's where this one came in right here. Yeah, I understand. Okay, good. All right, I'm I'm, I'm glad you understand. Yeah, it's just I I I appreciate Ramit's uh, intuition here of like saying that like oh like this could not be a parallelogram and in that case yeah only only use a reflexive property when you're trying to prove that triangles are the same usually. I mean that's oh, like okay. a, a general rule of thumb. You're gonna the reflexive property only gets used to to like prove that. Two shapes that share that side end up being the same shape. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a cool question, Equity. Nice, dude. Appreciate that one. Also, I found the another calculator that does the. Did you? Oh, oh, show it to us. Yeah. You, you can dump oh, screenshots can, in on. Uh, on yeah, you, you can also dump things yeah, in on I'm on gonna, the page. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Okay, cool. It's right here. Oh, yes. I'll zoom in on it. Can I make it? Can I make it bigger? Uh, yeah. Here, I got it. I got it. Oh, <laughs> you can nice. distort yeah. it all you want. Okay. Uh huh. I, oh, that's interesting that the calculator couldn't do this. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe because there's like a certain constraint on it or something. Yeah, maybe because yeah, the calculator has like a certain like algorithm to it that only works when the the number of columns is one more than the number of rows. That makes sense. Yeah. In reality, yeah, you really so then, only use the calculator there if you're doing if you're trying to solve like a, a, a system of equations, but yeah. I think so, yeah. And then so uh, like yeah, you can see in this one. No, I don't know who it was asked, but Teacup. Teacup's one If they're here. Teacup's here. Teacup's here. He's around. Or well, he's probably in the in the Twitch. Okay. Yeah, so you see it starts with a one in the first column. No and then the rest is zeros. Mm -hmm. And the second one, one, second, uh, third one, one, and then the fourth one, one as well. Mm -hmm. And then you see, all, like, whenever you have more rows than columns, you will always end up with the last row being, or whatever rows you have left to be all zeros. It's just mm -hmm. because, uh, because you can just, you can use a linear have... combination of all these to just knock this out. Yeah, exactly. Right. right? Yeah. If, if, for instance, you the had a only... five here and a four here, you could be like, oh, Negative five of this and negative four of this, and then it would just kill these two off. Yep. Cool. Exactly. So then the only thing is like, am I gonna have all of the columns to actually start with one? Sometimes you may not. Sometimes you may end up with like something like this, like zero, one, negative one, two, right? Mm -hmm. So then you might end up with something like that, and then in that case, you're gonna say that my rank, you know, is like let's say three. And then, uh, then you're gonna have the rank of your kernel to be one. One, because the number of columns right. you have is four, this, right? Yeah, exactly. And then for the the for this case, because all of them start with a one, you have a mm -hmm. rank. You have a rank of four. Mm -hmm. And then so your kernel has to be zero. Right. And you can always, essentially, because these two things are equivalent to one another, is all you do is, if you were to say something has to be some vector is going to be zero, zero, or some vector gets multiplied by this, uh, gives me zero, 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 then that means that instead of multiplying it to this matrix, I can always multiply it to this matrix and see what the entries should be. And if you see, if you were to actually put a vector, you know, like X, Y, Z, W, and then V, if you, if you uh, try to find this, you see, it's going to give you one times X, or sorry, there's four X. Yeah, it's going to give you one times X, plus 0 times y, plus 0 times z, plus 0 times w, so you're going to end up with x. 
And then you do the same thing to the second column. You get Y, and then you get Z, and then you get W. So you got your original thing, and this needs to be equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. But this is not allowed because you're just setting the original vector to be equal to 0. They call this a trivial answer, right? So this is not allowed. Right, then there needs to be at least the one of these entries to be non zero. Right. So right. because you can't, you can't get zero, 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 zero any other way than just setting your vector zero, zero, zero. Yeah, zero, time, zero times x equals zero is just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're just yeah. like, cool. All right, nice. And then so yeah, there's no other way of just setting the whole vector to be zero. So yeah. then there you go. You can see that there's no vector that satisfies this equation. Other than the zero vector, which doesn't count because that's cheating. So cool. there we go. Rank Perfect. Dude. Or Rank and kernel explained. <laughs> I'm glad I learned. I was... No, yeah. I learned it. I learned these, it. These numbers are insane. No, these numbers yeah, are like dumb, dude. Out. Like, no, never do this. Um, nice. Hopefully, teacup, teacup saw you. He said, "Oh yes, hello." All right, let's see. I got, I got one last question from uh, Ethan here. Let's see, what is Ethan doing? Starter puzzles, what is this? Oh, these are cool. Oh, okay, cool. Doing something with cubes. Copy this one. Ethan, are you here? He's usually watching the Twitch. Back up on There we go. Um. There he is. <laughs> I know it's, it's it's. I love I love. I like the. It's is Wheel of Fortune or is this Jeopardy? This is Jeopardy, right? He's in the audience. I like the. the you like the Mr. Bean walking around? Yeah. It, it's super fun. I just go into YouTube and find like all these like green screen things. And then if you, in OBS, you can, you can apply like a green screen filter and it makes everything transparent behind it. Yeah. This is actually kind of a, here, I'll, I'll show you. This is actually a cool, a cool trick for all the streamer people while I wait for Ethan to get into the, if you ever want to like look up like cool effects you can put on OBS, uh, you just go YouTube. And you can say like, uh, for instance, like, I don't know, like, fire explosion green screen. And someone will have done this. Yeah. It's basically something like this. And then uh, when you put this in OBS, uh, you, you apply a filter to it. It's called, um, uh, I, think it's, I think it's called key screen is what it is. And you tell it that green is the color that is transparent. And then, yeah, you can, you can put all this cool stuff onto your screen. Oh, damn. I know, yeah, it's it's fun. I've I've had I've had I, every once in a while, like I'll nerd out for like a couple hours and just like start adding like cool cool effects and stuff. Uh, yeah, I want to get good at these stuff too because yeah, this it's, makes it more. It doesn't makes it not as dry, I guess. Not as dry, yeah. It's more entertaining. The soundboard is like the number one thing you get, and then and then you progress into like putting like cool like visual effects and, and stuff. I can actually trickle the I. That's a good idea. I should actually. There's a way to like trigger visual effects with. Um, I use a stream deck. Show for the people. The uh, Elgato stream deck. This is what I use um, to trigger. Like for instance, when I have like the hands clapping and stuff and whatnot, I use one of these. Oh, nice. What's up, Ethan? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. One of these. It's it's, it's Hello. Th these are pretty cool. Um, you can get these usually on sale for like a hundred. What's up, Ethan, dude? How's it going, dude? Hello. I need to check the download. Is it taking on time? 
Yeah, just in time, dude. You're the last question of the day. Then we're going to go play Fortnite. All right. One cube yeah. has each of its faces covered by one face of an identical cube, making it a solid as shown. The volume is a solid 875 cubic centimeters. What in centimeters squared is the surface area of the solid? This is cool. Is this like a math challenge question you're doing at your class or something? Yeah, it's something similar to, to what I'm going for. Okay. It was like a dice that has like dice attached to it. Like the human dice of Peter. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, so here's a good question. First off, Ethan, do you, do you know what the volume of a cube is? That'll help us out. The volume of a cube. Yeah. You know, um, I remember the area. I I remember it's I remember it's some volumes, but this one is a little confusing. It's okay. Do you know what the vol? Do you know what the area of a square is? Well, yeah. Isn't it like on side times side? Yeah. It's side times side. Same thing as like side squared, right? That's what the area. Is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Another way of saying that. Good. Now let let's think about like a cube, right? A cube. A cube. You know, looks like a square, right? But, like, it's a bunch of them, like, all layered up on each other, right? Okay? Like, if I had, mm -hmm. like, yeah. right, a regular square here, which has an area of S squared, and let's say I just add S number of those squares on top of each other, that would create a cube. A cube has all the sides equal to it. Okay? All right, all right. So, the volume, right, is, like, adding up all these, all these sheets of paper, like, all next to each other, right? And if there's... A length of S of those sheets, right? Then the total amount of volume becomes S squared times S. Do you see that? Like this is the area of a single sheet, and I'm multiplying it by S sheets, basically. Yes, I see that. What's, what's S time? What's S squared times S? Um, isn't it S cubed? Yes. Yeah. That works because it's S to the two times so S to the one, S to the three. Is that on? Um, is that on um, like the uh, what it is for the volume of a cube? Yes, yeah, volume of a cube. That's the volume of a cube. Yeah, very good. Yeah, volume of a cube is s cubed. It's kind of kind of cool, right? Kind of makes sense, right? Cubed volume, volume of a cube equal to s cubed. All right, cool. All right. Uh, so let's look at this question here. So they say um, one cube has each of its faces covered by a face. <laughs> Each of its faces covered by the one face of an identical cube, making something that looks like this, right? Okay. How many faces does a cube have? How many sides? Question. How many sides? Well, mm -hmm. what I can, from what I can tell, I think it has like four sides, right? Or is it eight? No, oh, close. Think about it. Think about dice. Dice are a cube, right? Like a, a single, a, a dice is a cube, like a die or something. What are all the numbers you can get on dice? Right, uh... Like six, I said six. Good, six, yeah, one to six, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, there are six sides on a cube. Okay, think about dice when you, when you think about cubes. Six cubes in the Good. Okay. So if if I have some central cube, Ethan, right, and then I have uh, a bunch of other cubes attached to it like this, how many total cubes are there? Talking, well, if you're talking about the diagram, there mm -hmm. should be, there's, there's like, um, another five of them or six. There's another six of them there. Good. So I there's think. six cubes, right? There's six cubes because there's one on each side of the face. And then there's the central cube, right? So that's a total of seven cubes, yeah. right? Seven total cubes. Okay. That help out, right? Yeah. So that would be. And that will be some cubes or something? Mm hmm So what we need to now figure out is, like, what the dimension is of, like, one of these cubes, okay? Like, what one of the sides are, right? So I know each cube, right, has a volume of S cubed. Uh, you good, Ethan? Audio. Yeah, I, I am. Okay, good. So Sorry. 7 S cubed is going to equal the total volume, which is 875. So... Each cube, right, has a volume equal to S cubed. I know I have seven of these cubes, and that the total volume, right, of having all seven cubes is 875. All right. Okay. 
So I'm solving for S. S is like the dimension length of like one of these sides, right? So we're going to divide both sides by 7 here, right? This will give you 125, right? Good, yep. Oh, uh, um, is that 125? One sec. 7. Yes, yes it, is, it is 125. No, you're good. S cubed equals 125, oh. right? So then how do I figure out what S is? I mean, we could use calculator, but you're right. How can we figure out what S is? Yeah, S cubed do you have equals to divide by? Do you have to divide by it again? Do you have to divide? No, no dividing. So S cubed is asking what times what times what gets me 125, right? Remember the cubed means that there's it's been it's like multiplying by itself like three times. Okay. Yeah. So at this point, like, I mean, I know the answer because I've been doing math for so long, but like, you can kind of guess some answers, right? What what is two cubed? What's two times two times two? Two cubed. Well, that's eight, right? Good. Okay, so it's not two. <laughs> What's three cubed? Nice. Thanks for the follow, uh, Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, right? Twenty-seven. Good. Twenty-seven. Okay. What about four cubed? Okay, a little bit harder. Wait, I got, I thought it. I thought, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Six to four. Six to four. Yes. Okay. We're getting closer. What about five cubed? What's five times five times five? Ooh. Oh, I think that's one twenty five, right? That's dope. Yes. Right? Because five times five is twenty five, and like if you have five quarters, you have a buck twenty five. That's how I always remember that. Okay. Cool. All right. So yeah, this tells me, Ethan, that S is equal to five. Okay. All right. All right. So now that I know that, uh, they want me to find the surface area of the solid. Okay, so surface area refers to like the area of all these all these different faces. Okay, so here's a key thing to kind of notice. So we know we, we we know that we have six of these cubes, right? Like all on the outside, right? And then looking at a single one of these cubes, how many of the faces are like exposed to like the air or like are are out? Well. From from what I can see, there's like five of them. Five out of the six. Good. Uh, five very out of the good. Seven. Good. Very good. So five out of the six but, faces are exposed. Mm-hmm. That's a goal. Don't you see one that's right, right behind the other one? Yeah, yeah. This one like way over here. This one like hiding over here. Yeah. Yeah, same yeah, thing. it's right there. That, that one also only has five faces, right? Because one face is always used to attach to, to, to the central cube. Okay. Like covering it, right? Because it has it has to stick somewhere, right? Yeah. So each face, right, has an what's the area of each face? If I know that the side length is s, that might be a bit confusing right now. Say, okay. say it again. Say it again. What is the area of each face? Like each 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 like you know like part of the the cube. Q? It's s. It yeah. Isn't it S squared, maybe? Square yes, yes, S squared. Two? S squared, because this is a square, right? So S squared, and you said it yourself, right? Five of the faces are there, right? For, 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 each, for each cube, okay? Five of them. And then how many cubes do we have attached to the central one? Hold on. Um, about, like, six, maybe? Or... Good. Yeah. Good. So I'm going to do 6 times 5 times S squared, right? And I know S, S was 5 from before, right? That's, that's what we found out the, the, the length of this was, right? So this is 6 times 5 times 25, uh, which is just 6 is times... Is this centimeter squared? Pardon? Is this centimeter squared? Is it centimeter squared? Mm -hmm. Everything's centimeter squared right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not putting things in the meters. Um, so that's 6 times 125, right? Um, which is going to get you seven, so, uh, 750, I think, right? Seven, 750, yeah, 750. Nice, dude. Good. Congrats. Okay. That make more sense? Yeah, Ethan? Kind of a cool one. Yeah, that was good. Sick. Also, I got, I got to um, redeem the tier 3 thing. Sick, dude. That's dope, dude. <laughs> What prize are you going to get? What do you want? It's still a decision with the HyperX and the V-Bucks. 
V bucks, yeah. There's it, it, a lot of V bucks, but you know, you get V bucks all the time, <laughs> right? Well, I get like, one today, and then I'll just skip it. Yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah. So he's talking about in the vault. So if people have, um, we have a couple prizes up for for grabs for for students who have um, gotten enough bond coins by doing all the challenges uh, here on the Discord, and. I gave a, I gave away a year of Discord Nitro last week to uh, to Obama. Congrats, Obama! Obama. Congrats, Obama! Uh, but yeah, now we have a, there's a headset up for grabs, bunch of V Bucks. I know you guys love V Bucks. A gold gaming desk uh, because Teacup said he wanted a gold gaming desk, and then a ton of Robux as well. So you all get to pick what you want. But yeah, you got to it, so you get you get. You get second dibs, so you get second dibs on, 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 on which which gift. So you let me know. I'll take the dibs for that. I'll take yeah. those dibs. Yeah, you got the dibs, dude. I don't think anyone. N- n- Teacup's next closest, but he's at like eighty-seven bon- bond coins. I think he's not. He's not all the way up there. He says, "Noise, noise." Says I. I would have taken the nitro. Yeah, yeah. I may bring it back. You know, like my 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 rule so far with the vault is like once it's claimed, I'm not gonna bring bring the gift back. But like I, you know. I may feel like like bringing st- bringing stuff uh, back and whatnot. Um, but okay, cool. Thank you everyone for coming to office hours. Had a lot of fun. Thank you, Ramit, for helping teach us uh, kernels and and matrices. It was super cool. I enjoyed that. That was fun. No problem. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully we can uh, we can have the what's it called the M A M AMA, AMA, AMA on, like podcast thing, yeah. Yeah. Is, is AMA um, ask me anything? And AMA and is ask me anything. That's what they call ask me anything. Oh, that's what they do. Yeah, actually, I saw that in a game. You know, I saw that in the game, so I understood what I meant. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, like AMA. And so, you could, and so you could literally ask them whatever you want. You want like what is climate change? What do you think about it? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be something cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, I think it's a good idea to have structure with things. I have to. I've talked with my other friend, A Rod. He he really wants. He's always been wanting to do a podcast thing, but like also with bringing in like more professionals and whatnot that like are experts in certain fields, which I think would be cool. Uh, so I got to talk with him with stuff, but maybe we'll we'll kick it off with like just a an AMA, uh, or even ram it just like talking about like what is mathematical physics, like computation. That's all like. Uh, yeah, sorry, what, I really what, don't know what that is. Exactly. Well, he could he could explain it. Uh, what were you gonna say, Ramit? Sorry. Oh, uh, no, nothing. Oh, you're good. All good. I always have to like I have to watch myself because I I talk so much. <laughs> I always. I'm, oh, I, that's okay. I'm, I'm like the same. Yeah, yeah. Right. I could just go on and on and on, and I gotta be like, oh wait, I gotta wait for other people to talk. So it's it's kind of also like an adjustment period for me. Cause I'm used to just like just talking by myself all the time. Oh man. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, next stream will be Wednesday, um, an hour later. So that's 4 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, now what we're going to do, if you guys want to uh, play Fortnite with us, we're going to do that in the actual gaming channel. Uh, we have the Fortnite challenge up. So you can earn 1,000 V-Bucks if you manage to get 20 eliminations. Uh, everyone gets at least one elimination, and we win the round. So uh, if you want to hang out and chill, chill with us, we're going to be doing that today. What's up? Hey, bro. Yeah. Uh, one thing, you know, I was doing one little, I was doing a math thing today, and it was worth three grades, you know. Oh, wow. A lot. And so you'll get like three 100s, okay? And you know my results? What was it? What were your results? Three 100s. Three, oh, nice, dude. Uh, all right. Uh, z- z- that's a great, dude. Want, Good job, dude. And you want to know one thing? You want to know one thing here? What's up? It's the, um, it was, one of them was you for cool grade. So what does that mean? Like, like, um, but there are three grades, okay, and one of them is a quiz grade. That was uh-huh. as a quiz grade and the and, and like a participation grade and an other grade. So you had to um work. You had to like focus for that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you did well on it. Yeah, Zion. Oh, sorry. Someone else in the chat was saying uh, they wanted to explanation of derivative of a product. Yes. Um, oh, I see. My exclamation scheduled Discord doesn't work on this stream because I don't have Nightbot set up for it. Here, Zion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send my. Here's my Discord. Uh, uh, join that. That.